Hi guys, it's Marla, and today I'm going to do a twofer review. I purchased these products um, again a while ago, not recently, and I kind of use them, you know, off and on when I remember to when I remember to use them. It's that you know, it's that those kind of products that you kind of purchase and then they're sitting on your counter and then. You use them sometimes and then you forget they're there and that's what these were like. But anyway, I wanted to do a review on both of these products because they're kind of similar, but to me, there's definite differences between the two. One is by a company that I've never really purchased anything uh, before. It's the First Aid Beauty Company, FAB. Fab, I guess, yeah, that's kind of cool. FAB, First Aid Beauty. And it's the Facial Radiance Pads, Daily Essentials, and they're used to, this is what they are marketed as, exfoliate, tone, and brighten your skin. They're used, supposed to be used on a daily basis. It's supposed to improve your skin clarity, reduce visible pores, and diminish the appearance of fine lines. Alcohol-free and safe for sensitive skin. Parabens, phthalates, or petrochemicals also in this. And I believe these were $28, let's see. Yes, $28 and there are 60 pads in here. And like I said, they're supposed to be used on a daily basis. Um, it's fragrance free, dermatologist tested and allergy tested. So a lot of testing that went into this product. But anyway, when you open it up, give it a little smell. I wouldn't say good and I wouldn't say bad. How's that sound? Just kind of maybe in between kind of smell. Not perfumey. I really can't smell a definite smell of these. It's just kind of there. I mean, not really probably my most favorite smell, but nothing horrible that I can't stand. And when you look at these, they almost like these little Stridex pads that you used to buy when you were a kid with, you know, with acne or if you are still a kid watching me. So they're very thin and they're all, you know, obviously they have a little bit of lactic acid on there and glycolic acid on there. And um, you're supposed to use these every day. I've been using these on an everyday basis off and on. And I like the way they feel when I put it on my face. It's almost like a toner for me. Does it reduce visible pores and fine lines? I would say that's a little bit of a stretch. I just think for me, these basically just are little toner pads. I think anything else that they say about it um, is kind of pushing it a little bit. That's my opinion anyway. And some of the things that are in it are cucumber. That's probably the smell I'm getting. For some reason, some products that have cucumber in, to me, smell really putrid and that's probably why there's something about this that smells a little rotten, a little, just a touch. Nothing terrible that you can't, that I would not purchase again because of the smell, but just not the best smell in the world. But there's cucumber in here. There's Indian gooseberry, which I'm not sure what gooseberry is. And there's also, I believe, uh, some lemon peel and a little um, licorice root. Now, I don't know if I said this before, but I think I probably did. No parabens, phthalates, petrochemicals, none of that bad stuff. But... As a toner, I really kind of like it because I'm kind of lazy and I don't like liquid toners that I have to kind of, you know, get out and I have to get a little cotton ball and put the toner on the cotton ball and put it over my face. So in that respect, I probably will purchase this again just kind of as a toner, but does it really do all the things it says it's supposed to do? Um, reduce fine lines and, you know, brighten your skin and reduce pores, minimize your pores. You know, if you're buying it just for that reason, I think probably save your money and go elsewhere. But if you're just looking for a nice, easy toner for a lazy person that you just want to kind of just open up, get a little pad out and put over your face, kind of make your feel, face feel a little tighter, you know, a little, I don't know, just kind of wake your face up in the morning, uh, this would be a good product for that. Now, I said this was a two first, so if you're going to compare this this is 60 pads, and I said this was, did I say 28? Yes, $28 for this. Then I compare that to um, the company that I absolutely love, everything from that I've bought, bought so far, Origins, and these are the Brighter by Nature High Potency Brightening Peel with Fruit Acid Pads. And basically, these pads look the same. The smell of these, I'll tell you, there's like a wicked smell coming out of here and it's like a strong smell. It's almost like the smell like of alcohol, uh, you know, rubbing alcohol that when you open up, it's kind of, whoo. 
you know, it's probably the glycolic acid in here. Maybe that's what's making it smell so strong because this does, this is supposed to work like a 30% professional glycolic peel. And if you take these pads out, and it's really funny, unless you have both products to kind of compare, these pads look exactly the same as the Fab Beauty pads. However, these have, these are like a little bit, how do I say, a little bit rougher so that when you rub them on your skin, you really kind of feel like the pad itself is exfoliating your skin. Now, if you have like super, 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 super sensitive skin, this may be a problem for you, These, um, the pads of these, because these pads are definitely softer when I'm rubbing them on my face. However, this these pads feel like they're actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, giving you a little bit of a glycolic acid peel. And that's what this does, um, feel to me like. When I put it on my face, I really do feel like it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it's supposed to brighten your face, smooth it, make it more radiant, and I just actually feel like I am getting kind of a little mini professional peel at home. I would definitely purchase these again, and these are, there are 40 pads in here. These are more expensive, well maybe not, I don't know math-wise. 40 pads for 30, no, they're probably not. 40 pads for $37.50 for these, and then 60 pads over here for $28. Use these on a daily basis, use these twice a week, because these are a little, this is a little harsher. You won't want to use this every day, because like I said, the pads themselves are a little rough, and the glycolic peel, you really do feel like something's going on on your skin with this. My review, what I would say about both of these, I will probably repurchase actually both of these again, um, I do like the um, facial radiance pads just as a toner. However, if you're looking for something to actually really reduce your pores and diminish fine lines, then you probably want to move on from this and not, you know, not purchase this product. If you're looking for something that actually does feel like it's kind of doing something, like a real little kind of mini peel, it doesn't really peel, your face doesn't really peel, I don't know why they call it a peel because it's not like your face, your skin's peeling, but it really does feel like there's stuff going on there. I would definitely purchase the Origins uh, Brighter by Nature again, but you're going to have to be careful if you have super sensitive skin because these pads are a little rougher in texture even though they look a lot like the other pads from the Fab Company, but I really feel like it's actually doing what it says it's supposed to be doing. So that was my two for four today. I will see you next time.